We dedicate this video to Dr. Martin Luther King, Jr. and to Congressman John Lewis. But we also dedicate it to a host of courageous women and men who changed the course of history, the course of her story. Their arduous struggle for civil and human rights for all people fuel them on their journeys. And indeed, their arduous struggle continues to ignite us. They didn't fight for themselves. They fought for a better nation. Today we are here because of them. I say to you today, my friends, so even though we face the difficulties of today and tomorrow, I still have a dream. It is a dream deeply rooted in the American dream. I have a dream that one day this nation will rise up and live out the true meaning of its creed. We hold these truths to be self-evident. That all men are created equal. I have a dream that one day on the Red Hills of Georgia, the sons of former slaves and the sons of former slave owners will be able to sit down together at the table of brotherhood. I have a dream that one day, even in the state of Mississippi, a state sweltering with the heat of injustice, sweltering with the heat of oppression, will be transformed into an oasis of freedom and justice. Yo tengo un sueño. I have a dream. I have a dream that my four little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. Ho oh, un sogno oggi. I have a dream today. I have a dream today. I have a dream that one day down in Alabama, with its vicious racists, with its governor having his lips dripping, with the words of interposition, and nullification. That one day, right down in Alabama, little black boys and black girls will be able to join hands with little white boys and little white girls. As sisters and brothers. As sisters and brothers. As a mirror of the Sapanata, I have a dream today. I have a dream today. I have a dream that one day, every valley shall be exalted. Every hill and valley shall be made low. The rough places will be made plain. And the crooked places will be made straight. And the glory of the Lord shall be revealed. And all flesh shall see it together. This is our hope. This is the faith that I will go back to the south with. With this faith, we will be able to hew out of the mountain of despair a stone of hope. With this faith, we will be able to transform the jangling discords of our nation into a beautiful symphony of brotherhood. With this faith, we will be able to work together, to pray together, to struggle together, to go to jail together, to stand up for freedom together, knowing that we will be free one day. This will be the day when all God's children will be able to sing with new meaning. My country tis of thee, sweet land of liberty, of thee I sing. Land where my fathers died, land of the pilgrim's pride. From every mountainside, let freedom ring. And if America is to be a great nation, this must become true. So let freedom ring from the prodigious hilltops of New Hampshire. Let freedom ring from the mighty mountains of New York. Let freedom ring from the heightening Alleghenies of Pennsylvania. Let freedom ring from the snow-capped Rockies of Colorado. Let freedom ring from the curvaceous slopes of California. But not only that, let freedom ring from the Stone Mountain of Georgia. Let freedom ring from Lookout Mountain of Tennessee. Let freedom ring from every hill and mo hill of Mississippi. From every mountainside, let freedom ring. And when this happens and when we allow freedom ring. When we let it ring from every village and every hamlet. From every state and every city we will be able to speed up that day when all of God's children, black men and white men, Jews and Gentiles, Protestants and Catholics, 
we will be able to join hands and sing in the words of the Old Negro Spiritual. Free at last. Free at last. Thank God Almighty, we are free at last. Today there are people that continue to march in a different way. We are Chief Diversity Officers and Diversity and Inclusion Practitioners working in companies and communities around the world. We are dedicated to issues of equity, fairness, and access. We work with people of different races, cultures, ethnicities, religions, sexual orientation, people with disabilities, and veterans to make our world a better place for all to live, work, learn, and play with all of our differences. We know the power of diversity and inclusion. It is our shared mission. This video highlights our voices. We are not always seen or heard, but we are always there making a difference.